Hello, my pouring friends. Oh, look at that. No gloves. Best I get them. All right, I've got them. So today I'm going to do a... Oh, hello, train. It must be the 621 train. It's in the evening. I'm going to do a big flip cup. I'm going to do my flip cup coming down this way and on it on each side I'm going to use some of that forest birch color I took a photo and showed you the color of the paints that I'm using but I'm not using the green and the yellow separately I've actually mixed them together to get a really vibrant beautiful vibrant green so by adding some of that yellow into the green I got this amazing um, really really bright green uh, Amory, do, Amory uh, does that and I really 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 like that and um, my silicon that I'm using today is Boom Booster because I've really enjoyed the way that that's worked oh can you believe it that I've got a neighbor gonna who gonna be doing some background work uh. Well, what I might do is just um, talk over the recording later. So I've leveled my canvas, got my paints ready to go, and let's see how today's creation is. So here we go, I'm going to do a drag and pull as quickly as I possibly can, or well, probably not. So, let's go. We've got really nice stuff happening and we'll just wait a little bit and see how much this naturally wants to spread and how much of what wants to pop up and then I will do a little bit of tilting and then fill in a little bit of the areas with a few lines of the other colors that will help frame the part that's been poured um, so that it just doesn't look too busy I'm over time finding that I'd like to have a lot more negative space just simply because the um, the cells is like if you have to for me when I'm looking at them if they have too many colors and there are just way too many of them the the painting itself doesn't have any focal point and it lacks composition it's just a massive blah and I think I might do a little bit of a um, talk about composition in the in the coming weeks just it's a really good thing to keep in mind um, as you're progressing with your art and whilst you know we can't often plan how the outcome of our painting will be you know where the cells will be when you know to guarantee lacing and how the colors will come out etc etc I know you you follow what I mean we can still plan composition sort of not all the time but we can have a little bit more of an idea on where we want a focal point and um, why a focal point is um, considered when we're creating pieces of art 
So let's just keep letting this um, develop for a bit and um, then I'll give it a torch and a gentle tilt and we'll see how we go, hey? I'm already thinking about the colours that I might use to support it. Not as much of that beautiful green that I wanted to um, come up has come up, which is really interesting, but you never know what will happen in the tilt. I'm gonna try not to tilt it too much because we've got some gorgeous shapes happening and the paint's still spreading. So what I might do now um, is just let it sit for a few more minutes and continue to evolve organically. I'll give it a quick um, torch to get some of the air bubbles out now so that they um, can form into larger cells. How good was that for my self-control if you've been watching uh, my my creations for a while you know that I uh, really do love giving the torch a massive whoosh. all right so that's still going and um, we'll see how it goes okay it's been a few more minutes and I've let it um, continue to develop and I've decided now that I'm going to do a little bit of a brown umber around the place to help the paint move when when tilting time comes which isn't that far away now and as you can see I'm trying to allow the paint to have a bit of space for itself to spread because it, it's going to support the painting itself to, to tilt. Oh, look, damn, bugger. Um, but in the first instance, when it's tipping, that because there's quite a bit of paint, it, it won't need to have the support of other paint. Um, I'm thinking that I might do a little bit more brown here and then perhaps even a few of the blues, just, just because. And I don't know how it will turn out, and that's way too much paint but it doesn't matter and I might even do a line of the beautiful green that I made up just to help it have some contrast and pick up in the other cells in the main part of the painting okay and I might do a little bit over here even though no I shouldn't really do any there because that's probably going to come down I'm just trying to think about where the paint's going to move so that I'm not wasting paint even though I waste a huge amount normally I don't mind I'm just trying to be a little bit more mindful okay that's looking nice and to support that I will put a little line of that here and Oh, dollop came. So I'm going to torch it gently one more time before I tilt. There's a few more air bubbles that have popped up during that time. And okay, let's get ready to tilt. So I'm thinking about what I'm going to do first and of course what I want to do is make sure that I cover the parts of the canvas that don't have any coverage at the same time whilst holding a lot of these beautiful cell works I'm wanting to preserve this part here as much as possible because it's quite beautiful so at the end when if I don't stretch up that direction I'll be able to cover some of that with the brown so the first direction is going to be diagonally that way and then probably down this way so off we go I'm going to really take my time it's really um, important to do this part slowly I mean you can do it fast I've done it fast lots of times um, but today I will try and practice a little bit more of what I preach okay so that paints not moving as well as I thought 
So what I'm going to do is run a line of the blue through there just to help everything move together and it's just the nature of, of everything really. I feel like I'm talking in circles today and that's okay too. Here we go, back into that direction. I'm letting the paint move. Yeah, it's moving much more nicely now and that's sort of how I wanted it. Um, when I was framing it earlier in terms of pouring the white birch or forest birch around the edges, I um, put a little bit of copper there just to help frame it too. I just like doing things like that you know the odd thing about the whole process is is that the majority of the time I, I lose so much of that paint so it doesn't really matter by the way how huge are these cells they're really 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 gigantic and that's using the boom stain cell enhancer it's designed for boom stain gel but it seems to work really efficiently with um, all paints. I'm just going to help that along with my little finger there just so that it can um, move. I'm losing some of that over the side which is okay. Spend a fair bit of time reassuring ourselves don't we that everything's all right. Okay so let's bring it back down this direction now. trying to keep my eye on a few of the areas. Gosh, can you hear that odd bird song in the background? Or maybe it wasn't a bird. Maybe it was a person trying to be a bird. Okay. I'm losing my nerve and wanting to stop, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna keep going. shape's really, really nice. So over the edge it goes. Spilling and spreading. And some really, a lot of that green that I thought had been lost is splitting up now through. Okay, stop. Okay, let's take that back a bit. So I'm just going to pause for a minute and just have a think about how it's going. I don't like this part here. That's alright. I might not worry about that at this point because you'll notice the more you pour, the more you realise you can change things afterwards. I'm going to stretch it back over this direction, maybe let some of that come off, and maybe hopefully some of this will open up a bit more. What do you reckon? Give it a quick torch in between. Good idea. Help some of those bubbles just pop and go away. That's enough. Alright, 
So the idea is, is that I want some of this to stretch out a bit more and this to come off. Ready? Let's go. So I'm watching like a few places at once what the paint's doing. And yes, I like the way that those colors are opening up and showing some different parts of the cells. And I really think that that part down here that I didn't like so much, I think I'll be able to tip the whole lot off, which is great. Now just bringing it over a little bit more. Watching what's coming up, watching the shapes. And I think that might just about be it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's call it, let's call it done. What do you reckon? I really do like the shaping in this. It's very interesting. I like how it's much heavier on one side and lighter on the other. And I mean that in color wise as well as cell wise and movement wise. And so I'll be able to point to what I'm talking about in a minute. So it's heavier here in color and movement. It's a lot busier and over this side, it's a lot lighter, which means that there's a bit, bit of contrast in the, in the painting and what's going on, which is lovely. And I think for the final, um, part I might just blow these out just oh, do I want to or do I want to just leave it like that well, let me come around and just do one little blow and see how it goes yeah that's nice I might need to just do a little bit there. Oh, almost too far. Now that part looks, well, it looks all right, but I'm gonna blow it. Oh, okay. All right. Liking it and liking it and gonna leave it now. Okay, so we'll do the last torch and we'll call this done. Ready? Oh, there's that beauty. I don't know what it is. I need to get in and have a look. Uh oh, my hands are wanting to torch. Feel it. I need to get the torch off myself right away. Come on, that's it. Okay, so I'm wondering what this little gooby bit is. Okay, here we go. It's right in the middle of the painting, so how annoying. I'm just going to double it like that. I'm not sure what's happened. Maybe it's just a part of the paint that wasn't really mixed well in. So I'm just going to pull it like that. And, you know, our eye is attracted to it because we're aware of it being there. But anyone else might not even notice it's there, especially if I do that. Okay, now it's sort of looking like it belongs there or was already there. So we've got some really nice, heaps of interesting areas, really gorgeous movement coming up and all of that underneath there is bronze. These delicate balanced cells with negative space with a lot of that, a line of that darker blue really supporting it up on this side here. Beautiful interesting shells, shells, I mean cells, shapes. Um, it's a really interesting picture and painting. I like it a lot.
And look, here's my favourite. They didn't quite form well, but the caterpillars, I love them very, very much. I think they're so cute and elegant. Right, let's wipe my hands and take you down for a look. <laughs>